there are a nice amount of levels and a nice variety, both levels and enemies. I mean, at one point you fight vampires and you have to force them into the sun. That's also pretty cool. The thing is, I don't think it should have been a medieval game. I don't even know if it started out as a medieval game. I think someone might have said, you know, hey, let's do something with, like, Cockney and, you know, 19th century London, and, you know, we can do museums, and it'll be great. It does look good. I'll admit, I mean, I don't have a problem with something being set in 19th century London. It's, it's an attractive place. It's a cool setting. But the first one didn't need a sequel. And this didn't need to be a sequel to Medieval. I honestly think they did that in order to make sure that there would instantly be people who bought it. I mean, to an extent, it's almost like with Blade 2. A lot of people didn't like Blade 2 because after Blade 1, we expected a Blade movie to be Wesley Snipes just constantly, you know, tearing through these vampires like a hot knife through butter, as if it were a stake through the heart of vampires with the force of superhuman strength behind it. Now, Blade 2 isn't actually a bad movie, it's just not the same as the first, it takes a completely different approach. And a lot of people didn't like that, that it was that different from the first one. I mean, be honest, it's got its share of good one-liners, you know, plenty of male ego, testosterone, and you can't claim that all of the action sucks. Some of it is really, really cool. Its only problem is, it's got Blade in the title, Wesley Snipes in the lead, and it came after the first one. And to an extent, I'll, I'll give you that this game is some of that same thing. If it had been called something else, I probably wouldn't have played it, but that would have been fine. The problem is, it's called Medieval and it has nothing to do with the Middle Ages. It's got Sir Daniel Fortescue and they make a joke out of him. I mean, he wasn't... He wasn't Superman, the first one, but he had some dignity to him. He, you know, there's... His quest to become a, a true hero, you know, had some stubbornness to it in along with the heroism, and, and he's kind of got the Ash thing going on, you know, he'll be, you know, big and, I'll show you, he says that over and over, and then when there's actually something there, he'll like, and, you know, run off sometimes, you know. But it was, here is just silly, and frankly insulting to those of us who like the first one. I mean, here's the thing. The first one was fine the way it was. You didn't need a new approach. You know, the first one was your new approach. The first one was original. The first one had ideas that you couldn't just say, oh, that's just like that. That's it for this one. I'll see you next time.